Of the animals that we're looking at, again, Plains game, but zebra, kudu, wildebeest, impala, which one are you especially excited about getting? Which one epitomizes Africa for you? Oh, you know, I think for me, uh, in, in a funny way, uh, of course the kudu. I like being a professional hunter because I enjoy hunting and you get to meet new people from all over the world and there's a common denominator. We all want to do the same thing. Zane the PH is a maniac. As a matter of fact, we've been calling him Zaniac the whole time. Hit the ground running at 5.30 in the morning and you don't stop till 7 or 8 at night. If he's not on an animal, tracking it, shooting it, hunting it, he's not happy. And frankly, neither was I. My favorite plains game animal to hunt is probably Kudu and Elan. Kudu also because that's your traditional African animal, they're beautiful. Kudu, we're gonna be hunting slightly different areas than where, the, where we would find the Elan normally. Kudu are gonna be along the rivers, in thicker bush, not so much in forest. Again, very alert animal. It's gonna be difficult to get into a position where everything slots in so we can take a shot. This is my first time in Africa. It's only our first day so far and it already is much more than I even imagined. We were on our way somewhere to find some kudu and then all of a sudden uh, we heard a tap on the top of the truck and uh, Zane says, kudu. So we loaded up, took off up the road. I'm just gonna put a stool through this river on you. Okay. did a, a pretty fast, but a, as quiet as we could stalk, suddenly there he was. You know, everyone I've ever talked to who's been to Africa says that if you don't take a kudu when you're here, you might as well not go. Take him. Good shot. Good shot. Okay. Safety on. Safety on. Okay, you hit him. What do you think? I think I had a good one. I think it's a good shot. I think I had a good one. It looked good. Uh, Where name put it? Zane immediately looked at me and he said, good hit. He said he saw the kudu lurch like that and the kudu took off and we did too. Wait, wait, I'm not on the point yet. We had a good blood trail, a lot of lung blood. Uh, Zane was really happy. We were all smiling about that. Uh, suddenly the blood stopped and Zane was confused. He said that doesn't really happen. Usually he wasn't sure why. And I was getting a little concerned because I really wanted this animal. The guy's searching for blood backward happened. They're just looking for the tracks. Okay. Blood's not that important because we know he's yet. Okay. If we follow his tracks, eventually the blood will start. We must just get the line that he went out on. Okay. Let's just circle in front of you. What's it mean when the blood stops like that? I don't know. It's not good. It's a tough animal. It's not as tough as some of the other animals that are out here. But any of these animals, you hit them bad, we're gonna have to follow them and we're gonna have a problem. Then Zane saw the footprint and I knew something was up because he looked at me and he had a kind of a glint in his eye. Hold on, Roy. Go and have a look at what's happened here. Yeah. Oh, boy, this is another one of those lifetime dreams actually come true. Beautiful, eh? Good Lord. So nice kudu. Tell me about these horns. He's a big kudu, this. Is he? Big. Everything they say about that gray ghost was sure true. We were lucky to find one in the open like that, yeah. or relative open. I would have never seen him had you not pointed him out specifically. And then yeah. suddenly there he was. Yeah. Oh boy, they're really strong. Have a look down here. Yeah. Put your eye there and look down the 
Oh, look at that. If there is, there's a tube Climb. that runs right down. Yeah. Yeah. And if we're going to have 50. So, Ma thinks it'll go 60 oh, inches. So, bye, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I trust your judgment. Man, I'm a yeah. Boy, there's a lot of just strength and endurance there. I was quite surprised. You know, we saw a lot of lung blood and then it just stopped. Is that common? Not really. I haven't seen a stop like that. Well, I can't remember seeing a stop like huh. that. It happened so fast, but there was so much happening. It was so exciting. It's another one of those dreams have come true for me now. And from what Zane says, this is a pretty big kudu. Yeah, it'll go 60 inches. 60 inches. 60 inches. Tomba, you were right. <laughs> 59, he says. <laughs> We were out and about, and the tracker uh, spotted the zebra. Zebra, yeah. Well, the zebra, again, yeah, there's a lot of them. They're not always that easy to shoot. We only shoot the males here. Sometimes it can be a bit of a challenge picking out the male. Once we've done that, then it's to get into a position and hope he doesn't move to get a shot at him. That one at the back. Come, come. So a lot of what we had to do was, was real low, creepy, crawly, watch where you put your feet, slow and steady stop. Look at that one facing us up here. could see the zebra, but boy, they're very smart, and they, they kept moving off, moving off, and moving off. Someone at the back, you come through there, come through I've got him. Okay, you see the one on the left of that tree? Yeah. With that one? Yeah. That one that's still there. Yeah. Good shot. Safety's on? Yeah, I saw him lift his Okay. On. Come, let's go. Wait for your shot. Come on. The goal here is to, to get to your next position where you can take a good shot because you got to put them down fast. The zebra is not waiting around to talk to you. There he is, right there. He's lifting to the right. Through the trees. Yeah. running as fast as you can. The ground is trying to get you as much as the rest of the country is. Anyone who thinks it's like coming out here and shooting a farm animal just has no idea what the reality is. Yeah. I think it's a game that Zane's playing with me. But I don't trust this zebra, so I'm putting more ammo in the gun. Okay, I'm safe and okay. loaded. Good. Shall we see? Yep, now he's finished now. It was, uh, it was a busy few minutes there while we chased this. Oh, Lord. Hold on. Okay. I saw you take a tumble there. I did. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, thank you. I think uh, that's all part of the spice of the chase, I think. My stallion. Yeah, I'm, uh, I was impressed about 10 minutes ago, and I'm more impressed now. This was a tough guy. A tough animal, is huh? Oh, Lord, you were exactly right. This was nothing like uh, I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Uh, this was a hard hunt. Yeah, I know. They're tough, huh? Oh, and smart. Every time we approached them, everyone looked at it. Everyone ran. Yeah. Including me. <laughs> yeah, I'm very impressed. This is very exciting. Well done. You got him. Thank you, sir. That's the main thing. Huh? Thanks, Thanks for the help. Yeah. Just go and collect the truck. All right. Whew.